Hello everyone, welcome to our latest episode in the legendary game uh, NCAA Football 14. Uh, we're currently playing through the 2013 season, and this series is based on this alternate reality where Mac Brown uh, doesn't leave Texas. Uh, so we've been playing with some house rules, uh, which I'll go over sort of as as time goes on and tonight what we're going to be doing is we're going to play through uh, our last two non-conference games uh, so I'll go ahead and and shift over uh, to the game uh, so our, our first game again apologies for the first video there were a few little uh, audio issues but I think that they're all uh, fixed now is uh, we're gonna play we played uh, New Mexico State and basically their corners couldn't match up with our receivers and so anytime we got in trouble the computer sort of suggested that we run four verts and we uh, destroyed the right cornerback no matter uh, if we had starters in or if we had backups in. Brigham Young should be a more difficult game uh, so this is a national TV game and you can see that the other matchups a lot of FCS teams on the board. If you look at who the top 25 is playing, a lot of FCS. We got Syracuse and Northwestern. And then South Carolina, Georgia. This is a real game. Uh, Oregon, not really. Notre Dame and Michigan play this week. That's a cool one. And But other than that, we're, we're, uh, we're not in the top 25 yet, actually. We're on the other receiving votes. Uh, standard uh, but maybe we'll be ranked if we win uh, this week although one would wonder how that's gonna happen given that most of the rest of the top 25 is probably gonna cruise through so first we got to go over to recruiting and this is week two of recruiting and Mac Brown has a lot of recruiting powers he's still at UNC now he has top 15 recruiting classes and we're playing with the house rule that we don't take anybody off of our recruiting board. Sorry, my dryer just finished. Uh, in case you heard that. So you can see we're losing Victor Dawson to Oklahoma. Uh, we'll see. Basically, even though we have the numerical advantage on the bonus, uh, Oklahoma can probably dump uh, 200 extra points into this guy. Uh, Harris... Uh, we're actually doing okay on and if you compare the skills of these two guys Harris and I mean you really do want Dawson. He's so fast And he would be a beast. So we'll at least try one more week with with Dawson But let, let's go ahead and put 75 points into Harris or 85 points. We'll try to gain 100 a week on Ohio State. Uh, it looks like Fry, we're in good shape on him. So we're going to take him down to 200. Um, because it looks like a and not really recruiting him. Uh, LSU is making up ground on us. Uh, just like uh, Oklahoma is. Uh, so, you know, we'll just have to monitor the situation. Lane... We actually might be able to make up some points there. We'll go ahead and max out on him. Uh, poor Navy. Uh, the other thing that I want to take a look at is, are there anybody that we have? Yeah, so we want to definitely make a scholarship offer here to Larry Green. We made up some good ground there. And then Pete Harrison, Peter Harrison. Or as the old uh, Roy Dortris Dor would say on the Game of Thrones uh, audiobooks, Petire. Now this is a guy with 98 speed that we're number one on. Alabama made up a few more points, so we'll take him to 100. Maybe 150. And we'll go ahead and give him a scholarship. Mike Hill. I don't think Mike Hill is going to happen, guys. I'm on the Mike Hill train as much as anyone. And of course I'm on the Ricky Williams train. Uh, 
uh, this is Texas after all. Uh, Lance Landry. We're not going to get him. We have a shot at this tackle, though. In this corner. He's kind of a bust. I mean, we might as well. And then... Like I said, we don't take anyone off of our board, so... Let's go ahead and put uh, 50 points. 75 points on this guy. And we'll offer a scholarship. You can never have too many linemen. This is an important thing to always... Oh, this guy is a complete bust. But, you know, that's Mac Brown for you. And... We are not number one on this guy. And we're... Okay, well... We'll hold off on John Mason, and we'll hold off on Greg Gibbons. Okay, so we've already went through Dawson, then we got here, and we see that we're in the lead, but OU is catching up to us, so we gotta max out. We are making good progress with William Hawkins, so we'll take him down to 100. We're making good progress with Jesse Marshall, so we'll take him down to three. Now we'll take him down to two fifty. Um, oh, we got to max out Sean Moore. For this guy, we'll do seventy-five. Where we're doing well on, but A&M is is going to keep. Pretty close pace with us the whole time. Larry Green will want at least 250 on him. We're good with Harrison. Try to open up a bit of a lead here. Uh, other teams, they've made scholarship offers, so they're going to be able to add uh, some points to their totals. We can max out Robbie Hill. Max out Marcus Nunez. And with some of these guys, you in fact can end up winning uh, if you nail the visit. That, that's really what it ends up being. So let's make sure that we've at least got a few... So we've got good tackles. And you can always convert tackles over to other offensive linemen. Offensive linemen are relatively interchangeable in this game. We're sort of... I think that Landry is the one that we get the best shot at. And then with the centers, I mean, we'll see if we can hold on. At DE, we might have a chance at a good set of DEs. Sometimes you can move a DE to DT or... there and we're doing okay at MLB we'll see how it goes with Robbie Hill and then at the safety positions it's again it's something to monitor and then with our athletes we'll just see <laughs> we can only bring in 25 guys and our team's pretty young so at this point we'll move on uh, to our game at Brigham Young. And remember, we're not so much for sophisticated game planning. We're going to mostly do coach suggestions. And uh, we'll see how... I mean, the Texas offense is more creative in this game than I realized. You know, we got some pistol sets, some pre-snap motion. Uh, but of course, there's some I-form, two tight ends, and... Uh, it's sort of hard to gauge how good our offense is uh, so far, uh, just because uh, our main success came from, uh, I mean, <laughs> that we, we had no uh, resistance. 
uh, look at the screen. We're at minus 14 rush yards allowed per game. I'm surprised it didn't like energy or overflow to 63, 3, whatever it is. No points allowed. 89's pass yards allowed. So we expect a tougher game here, no doubt. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the scenic backdrops in the entire sport. Provo, Utah and Lavelle Edwards Stadium, where the players are starting to build the intensity as we get closer and closer to kickoff. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Again, they show the highlights for a game that hasn't happened yet. I pretend that it's ridiculously historical footage somehow interspliced or something like that. Or it's the precogs. Oh, look at that burn orange section near the corner of the end zone. Imagine being like a BYU fan sitting above that uh, section. I always wonder if they get those sections exactly right. All right, we'll do heads. And just like last week, we'll take the ball. That is pretty picturesque for an uh, Xbox 360 game. Now, we only had one uh, kick return last week. Uh, our punt returns were very good. to the 10. Oh man, he's, to the 20. he's got some space. Tackle made the and again, we're playing on low. Over the course of the season, that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it. Quarterback is, is this wide receiver. The Colt McCoy's brother. Is this defense more often than not is going to be a line to take him and out? We've also the got to your Jordan point, Shipley's brother Jackson up, on the, the team. Running game, some of the other receivers are going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort. To be able to win this game on the road. He's taken Ooh. down around the 41 yard space. line. The Longhorns always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. All right. Well, clearly the man left, man left. From their computer own, thinks that we should run line. here. It's first down. Yeah, never that good at that play. Couple, maybe three yards on that run. Practice. Well, I do. It's got to get better. All right. Clearly, here screen is is the play. I say we run it to the left. I got two deep safeties. Although, if you look at the footwork of the free safety, it almost looks like he's blitzing. But he's not. That's a pretty a good screen. Gets it to the back. And Gray kind of made a move. Space. Every offense oh, needs to have at least one back who can make down. something happen in the passing game, especially offenses that run a lot of screen plays. You can really gain the upper hand on a defense when you can utilize right, we'll come it like out in the we pistol. just saw. First down, 10 yards to go. And let's add a little bit of pre-snap motion. So we'll motion over Jackson Shipley. They're clearly a man coverage. And he's oh, taken down at the 37. Ah, we're still learning. That makes it so in the eight. Okay. Again, two deep safeties. I think that it's very likely that we'll go with the check down here to either the tight end or whatever you want to call that guy. Looks like an H back, really. Or to the running back. And oh, we'll settle for Sanders, who is able to hold on and then kind of makes a pretty nice move to get about 10 more yards. We're running spread spot here. As a vertical concept, which 
no deep safety here, so Sanders and Davis are definite possibilities here. Nice. A little bit too much aggressiveness, I would say, from the Brigham Young defense. So Sanders had a good drive. Oh my goodness, Khalil Max team beats Baylor. Oh, look at Philip Dorsett. And good old Fowler. All right, we'll kick off to the right. Oh, the wind is to the left. My mistake. Well, maybe I got enough on it. That should be a touchback. Clemson had a squeaker. All right, we'll do a 3-3-5 three, three, kind of thing. So we got a single high safety deep. This looks like a run. Is that Taysom Hill? I believe that that is Taysom Hill. And the same Jamal Williams that's with the Packers now? Oh, they're a hurry-up team. All right, we'll try a uh, sort of cross-dogs uh, overload concept here. Uh, not quite enough. And they're going to do another hurry up. So I think here what we'll do is we'll just do a two-man under concept, and then we'll spy Hicks. Oh, man. Hicks, you're spying. But you couldn't stop Taysom Hill. All right, cover one. Maybe that'll help with safety spy this time. Oh, they want the screen, and it's a big gain here. Jamal Williams cutting us apart. It's time for someone to fake an injury. We're going to go with all the zone. All right, there's uh, inverted veer, and that time Hicks is there to stop it. Although it is a gain, and so they're going to continue... All right, so now we'll go with a cover three concept. And Hill, ooh, that was a duck. But Hoffman did get it, and... All right, so we'll bring out a second defensive tackle and take a linebacker off the field. And we'll bring Phillips up. So he ends up keeping it, and it's just not a very good throw from Taysom. Well, the Saints have faith in him. And they're lined up to go for it, it looks like. I'm going to do edge sting. Oh, they tossed it to the side that I was not prepared for. Four, and they do get it. And so now we got not really the best personnel on the field to deal with a hurry-up offense. They, uh, Hill, I think that's a catch. Wow. All right, let's get aggressive. We're near the goal line. Double safety blitz. Oh, they fall start. Well, our defense has given up no points so far this year. Uh, 
Although I would say that we are realizing the difference between New Mexico State and good old Brigham Young. That's a nice little slant. He got eight yards. We might have to try more zone. Now they're going to run it, and he's going to get in. So, that. I mean, 11 plays. But a very solid drive from BYU. All right. So our third kick return of the year. Nice little move. Although he's brought down by the kicker. Throw it away, Colt, or Case. Let's try a screen. Oh, man. This might be a touchdown. They had nobody. And eventually they bring him down. Wow, that was uh, pretty much the perfect play to run against that defense. And I think that we got the numbers here to run power O. Nice move by Gray, and he's down to the one. So what, 63 total yards? in the last play, last two plays. And we had to bring in Malcolm Brown. Ooh. Well, let's run the read option. That's a keep. Oh, but then he crashed. Oh, that's Kyle Van Noy. It's kind of cool to see current NFL players pop up uh, somewhat randomly. Not randomly, if I had any kind of memory. This was the one issue we had in our first game. Settling for field goals. And this angle, non-trivial. Come on, Farah. So in real life, a lot of people would be complaining about this game for having way too many, way too much coverage given how neither team is ranked. Oh, that's a nice play to Skyler Ridley. Not to be confused with the various other Ridleys. All right, maybe cover one will work better. That's the Jamal Williams play. I don't think that's actually a read, although I could be mistaken. All right, let's try a double DB blitz. Although we're showing safety blitz. 
Oh, he's going to try to take off. And he got free. All right. Cover four. But with press man. Or with press. Oh, man. And Hill makes a guy miss. Well, this is night and day from our first game. I don't think Whaley is an effective spy. Oh, he got cut up on the blockers, the middle linebacker. We are getting destroyed. Oh, Whaley, you should have gotten there, man. Oh, South Carolina. Kind of getting back into it with Georgia. Arkansas State, not competitive with Auburn. That was a little bit better from... I mean, that play is basically made by the DTs. Sucking up the uh, blockers, and then, you know, we know that this is third down. We got contain on, and he almost blows it. That's Duke Thomas, who I think might have had a cup of coffee in the NFL. All right, so both teams have had essentially identical first two drives, although very much contrasting styles, no doubt about that. And I would say that we have an advantage on special teams. All right, let's try their game. They're in the 2-4-5. Looks like a cover 3 or a cover 1. Case will keep and cut up the middle. Take your 8, man. So now they're in a 3-3-5. Three, three, Looks like they're showing a strong safety blitz. Sanders or Davis could be the read here if we've got enough time. And ultimately Case is just going to have to run for his life. And, well, he probably should have stepped out earlier. But that's back-to-back -back decent runs from him. You know, basically this defensive end doesn't... doesn't he has a responsibility for contain, but it just didn't happen. All right, let's just take the short gain. May have had something else there. Hail Mary is a suggestion. That's fun. All right. Go for it all, man. Oh, that's underthrown. That was a noodle arm throw. We're going to flip this play. So Gray, you motion out to the right. Really though, the, the read is Shipley here. And, oh, he dropped it. So we're gonna have to punt. 
The throw wasn't great. It was a little bit short of the line. And now we have to test my punting skills. So I'm not a coffin corner guy. That looks pretty good. Man, even at maximum height, couldn't get my coverage down there. So BYU has a chance to break through here. That was decent. That's Miami University of Ohio that just came across the bottom line, by the way. Maryland is ranked in this game. The world really has changed. Oh, man. Okay, so here it's third and short. The play is blitz. Oh, man, we I thought I had contain on, but... I mean, I guess they thought they had contain on when, when Case uh, escaped on the last drive. Man, a lot of no-huddle teams that just don't let us substitute. Although we're starting to slow down that main dive play that they have. Oh, that's a duck. That was not his best throw. So we're going to play off coverage here. We're going to play contain. We're going to trust our defense. And I guess we could have trust their offense to not come through. So the two teams continue to match. They made it about to midfield, as did I. And it's time for them to punt. This could be a decent return. This could be a... Oh! Could have been even better. Those first couple pancakes were promising. Alright. The screen game has killed them so far. So we might as well continue to try it. I mean... Wasn't 50 that time, but Gray already has 80 yards receiving. Their man coverage. I think you just run it where it's designed to go. All right, Sanders, Shipley. All right, we got to Shipley that time. And after his, I don't want to call it a drop, but when he didn't bring it in on the last drive, that's a nice little uh, redemption. Now here we're going to run motion inside zone. We haven't run a lot of motion so far this game. They're in zone here. But still, we were able to draw that guy over slightly. Gray is over 100 total yards already. Air Raid Stick is the play that we chose. It says that Swaim is the primary read here, but I actually think Davis is more likely. Oh, but they got him covered. 
Oh, no. And that's Case's first interception of the year. That is kind of close to throwing it across your body. And he paid for it. Dumb decision by me. Oh, their little inside play worked that time. Hicks just missed the tackle. So we found success with Blitz plus Contain. Oh, they're running the screen, and oh, our guy just got over. I mean, the assignments were all kind of mixed up there, but actually him coming from all the way over on that side meant that the lineman didn't have that good of an angle. Oh, man. Oh, we did get him eventually. It was weird that he broke the first one so easily and then kind of went down a little easy on the second one. Oh, they do go the screen again, but Phillips makes another play. It doesn't look pretty when he brings people down, but he brings them down. Oh, that first gunner, he made me play. Pay. Okay. Well, we're going to run our bubble screen, because that's a Mac Brown staple. That should be a fumble. Wide trap. I haven't run that before. Nice. They haven't really stopped our main dive play either, though. We're both averaging over five yards a carry with our uh, running backs. Yeah, I mean, the, the slant was the read there the whole way. They were backed off. That was not the tight end, Kirk. All right, we're doing our fake screen wheel route here. Now we ran this a couple times last week and ended up just throwing the safe dump off. And I think we're just going to do that again. All right, now let's try a jet sweep. Oh, Jackson, you know you can do better. The tight end is definitely the read here. But they're really tempting me to throw it over to Shipley. But you just got to take the underneath play. And really, we shouldn't be in a hurry. BYU gets the ball first to start the second half. Oh, that middle linebacker. He just over-pursued. 
Hicks made that mistake earlier. Technically, he's an outside linebacker. Um, but I would say that our teams are even. We have similar guys making similar mistakes. Oh no! Well, I don't know if I saw Taysom Hill make that mistake. Good thing Davis is fast enough. Oh, back to back drives with an int. No block in the back? Alright, I deserve to be admonished for that one as well. So we're in a defense that definitely can't stop the run. But they're going back to their screen game. And really, Phillips, i got to give him credit. He's starting to make a difference. It's kind of weird that now they huddle up. They even sometimes go no huddle. Another screen. And he stopped in bounds. You'd think they'd go hurry up now. And they will. And we're going to go to man coverage, because that's what you got to run. And we'll go to contain. And we'll go to bump and run. And they just don't have enough guys. And they might go for it here. They will. He got it. Oh, they got their light of fire skill. Run for the hills. Oh, he's wide open. That'll stop the clock, although they're going to take time out anyway. Oh, that's a great throw. Oh, he's straight up the middle. Didn't get it. Didn't get the touchdown, I should say. But they're at the three. Oh, he's going to try to take off, but Reed's waiting for him. But then Reed... Oh, he f gets brought down. I thought I saw the ball for a second. Well, New Mexico State blew this last week. But I think they're not going to... Oh, he sacked him! And they're going to have to call timeout. I mean, we'll call a timeout with six seconds left, so we at least get a kick return. Oh, they... They really are going to go for this with six seconds? Oh, wow. This could be back-to-back -back weeks of uh, the CPU... Having... Oh, they got their timeout in. That was so close. Ah, oh, they activated their anti-freeze skill. Ah, uh, I forgot about all that stuff. <laughs> And despite all that, it's a brick. Thanks, Reese.
Ah, Nissan. Yeah, so a lot of yards, but not a lot of points. Wow, Cal, you almost lost to FCS West. All right, it's now night is settling in. Beautiful. Utah is truly a beautiful state. You wonder why more people don't live there. I always love visiting. All right. So the 335 has been the slightly more effective way. Another screen. They have really defaulted to that. And honestly, it hasn't worked that well. You know, they got a little something here, though. Uh, it's just a sweep where a few guys got caught up. Oh, he, he got free. Cover six. But they're just going to go with the uh, read option. There is, oh my goodness, Taysom Hill. What a beast. All right. We got to go with something more exotic. Strong safety blitz. But also corner blitz. It's basically the Dick LeBeau play. And they go with the screen, and it's actually a pretty good call. We're just trying to alternate, mix it up, do something. Oh, man. All right, Spinner. We got nobody assigned to Jamal Williams. And the track meet continues. Wow. We got some backups in the game now. As do they. That's triple option. You now he goes to the pitch man. Macklem Brown, where are you doing? Brigham Young has the lead. That kicker. I hope the game comes down to a kick from that guy. All right, Johnson. Oh, he's got something. He's got something. That was needed. Oh, man. They blew that up. Worst run of the game. Well, 
Oh no! Late throw. That was what his end was too. His second end. His first end was just me being a freaking idiot. Okay, so last week, whenever it was third and long, we just ran four verticals and threw it to the weakest uh, corner. Here Shipley appears to have the advantage. I mean, he's open, and he just can't hold on. That free safety is able to get over. Makes a nice play. They're coming with the block here. Oh, they back out. All right, let's try to stick with the three-man front here. But three linebackers. And maybe a safety sneaking up. That might still keep them in hurry-up mode. We'll go with a regular cover two here. People backing up. Play some press. Hill is going to take off, and he gets six. So now we'll go with a cross blitz. Oh no! Oh no, even worse! Oh, that last guy almost didn't get him. They really need to add the fake injury button. Jackson does something. That's his first tackle. All right, we're risking it here with this four-man front. They're only at the 30. They can't kick a field goal from here. Good job, Hicks. That's more like yourself. Here you just play straight up cover one. QB contain. Don't give up anything. They go with the screen. It's a big mistake on defense. But somehow the uh, linebacker Santos recovers. And this is a pretty long field goal for this kicker. Kick, BYU, kick. Oh my goodness. Our offense, which kind of was the strength of the team originally, being slowed down here. Primary read here is the tight end. Toe tap from Mike Davis. Always wonder what happened to Mike Davis. Here we'll run the inside zone split. Oh, well, you got a little bit of something going there. Second and short is an opportunity to go for a home run shot. And the wheel route is the ultimate home run shot even if it's a tight end that's running it. We got a backup read here, though, to Shipley. Um, though I have noticed on these uh, shotgun play-action plays, sometimes you just get killed immediately. Run, Case, run! All that work for one yard. 
All right, we'll run the regular old read option here. They've been doing it enough to us. Looks like we got the numbers in the box. Oh, but the corner came. Nice. Good job, Case. Ooh, a triple option. Oh, that's the dive. All right. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. All right. Oh, you're dead, Case. Run. Oh. Oh. I guess that's kind of a throwaway. All right, verticals is the call I'm on third and 17. I got a bunch of backups out there, too. Oh, and that probably should be called a fumble. Well, despite the height of the kick, didn't really get the gunners down there. Okay. We've really struggled. Oh, and Case is out. It's going to be up to Ash. Now with Ash, it's got to be run first. Oh, he's going for it all, and he's got him. Wow, our safety struggles there. Nice pursuit. Although I haven't seen that guy before. He must be... Oh, we're in the 4-3 right now. That's why. Another nice play from Jenkins. He's making plays. We're not going to risk it. We trust our backup quarterback, Ash. Plus, you know, the McCoys get hurt. It's just the way it is. That's why you always got to have a good backup. They're running their favorite screenplay, and Hicks blows it up. And that pushes them far enough back that now the punt might be returnable. Uh, I probably should have tried to pick up that blocker. And then maybe you juke past the punter. All right, I was hoping for some zone read here. There we go, lead read option. Nice little run, but for Gray... All right, we'll just run a straight up off tackle play here. SMU, having some trouble. Decent pursuit. Probably should have just taken what they gave me. All right, 
We'll just go with regular read option out of the pistol here. Okay. Backup quarterback. More of the Russian quarterback. You gotta go with the read option. It's worked so far. Now we're reading the defensive end. You know, you worry about that linebacker right behind that end looping around. That's exactly what he does. But we block him decently. And get something. All right, let's try this uh, F lead option. Now they call it F. I would just call this guy an H back. Uh, Swaim. I think we go ahead and motion him over pre-snap. And he makes the key block! Oh! Davis couldn't quite hold his block long enough. All right, sometimes you got to pass. Ash was decent in mop-up work last week. That throw was not the best, but the guy was wide open. You at least got to make him respect the pass. Uh, it's pretty well blocked. I tried to juke. Didn't get anything out of it, though. Maybe I should have gone with the spin. We haven't really stopped him at all today. Alright. Good job, Ash. Here, let's not get cute. Tight power O. They slowed us down from down here earlier in the game. That is not the uh, Texas Malcolm Brown that is in the NFL. That's our backup running back. I don't know. Counter? Does it make sense to try counter at the goal line? Does it make sense for them to line up in this formation? He didn't get in! The play is shovel option, I think. Oh, they freaking destroyed that. Oh, man. Everybody got way too cute. And now... Run! He's in. Uh, excellent blocking on the corner there. Maybe a little bit of holding. I don't know if red zone offense is our strength. Wow! Well, that opens up a spot in the top 25, maybe. We were in the other receiving votes category. Uh, but, you know, we actually got to win this game. Which I believe Texas lost in real life back in 2013. Okay, so the three-man front has been the front that's had some success against good old Taysom Hill and Jamal Williams.
in general, the man coverage has worked better, and showing blitz has worked better. Neither of those things really worked there, though. Fortunately, their kicker has missed two field goals. Oh my goodness. Decent pursuit there. All right. And although I originally said that we're going to play BYU and Ole Miss in this game, I think this game is... It, you know, whenever you play these hurry-up teams, there's so many plays. Game takes a little bit longer. I think that we'll we'll stop with just the one game tonight. All right, we gotta bring some heat here. So we're bringing the triple blitz. We're not accounting for the H back. Oh, that could be, and it is a huge interception here. A one-handed interception. But you, you could see out of the arm, the throw was not right. Gray, he's been able to get it going. Ash has thrown what, one pass? I mean, they're not guarding Mike Davis here. So you just got to take it. Oh, he has thrown one other pass. That shovel pass at the goal line. My worst conceived play yet. Again, Davis is the read. They're not covering the guy. Now here you can't be afraid to run. Got the strong safety, or sorry, the free safety showing blitz. It's probably his own blitz. Oh, that's a decent throw that gets fit into Sanders, who's actually had a pretty strong game. He just got that away. It's a little bit wobbly. But he caught it right in stride. Now we should not be in a hurry here. Go Gray. Down to the one. And I think that we should switch to a chew clock. Don't really want to settle for three. I think he got it. They gave it to him at least. I mean, Brigham Young, they're going to have to call timeout after this play. I don't think the computer is smart enough to let me score. Gray didn't get it. They're still not calling timeout. Man, the AI clock management leaves a lot to be desired here. I'm just going to run it down to three seconds and kick. I guess they'll probably try to ice our kicker here. Very curious decision making. Yeah, okay. So they're going to ice us. I don't know if I have the anti-freeze ability. I do! Well, thank you, Mac, for your anti-freeze skill. 
Now, you can't do this in the NFL. Well, I guess... Okay. Antifreeze again. Is this really why they didn't call timeout? So they could ice us three times? All right. And he puts it through with one second left. The game is not over. I should have kicked it higher. This is a huge problem. I think I'm going to kick it deep. I think I can kick it through the end zone. And I think we go with prevent. And we hope that nothing... Or we'll go with man 3 deep. I prefer that one. But I didn't realize it only took two seconds to kick a field goal. And you didn't either. All right, well, it's not going to make it. And it's knocked down. All right. So it took a bit longer than we expected. But we squeeze it out. Maybe we'll make it into the top 25 thanks to this. But we win with our backup quarterback. All right, that was a tough one. We'll head back to the menu. How's everyone doing tonight? Yes, buy a razor's edge. Thank you very much, game. So we'll have to check the top 25 standings first. This will be a good time for us to take a very quick break. Be back in two. And we're back. Thank you for your patience. All right. So the first thing that we want to see were what were the other big shifts in the polls. So this week we've got A&M against Alabama. Did anyone in the top 25 lose? Oh, South Carolina did, but they barely moved down. Michigan lost, but remained in the top 25. And... Let's see. Well, we're now 27th, I guess. So we're close to getting to others receiving votes. UCLA, you know, they dropped out, but I think it's because they were passed by Mississippi State for some reason. 
Probably due to the scores of the games. Baylor dropped out because they um, had an embarrassing defeat. They lost to... Who did Baylor lose to? Yeah, Baylor lost to Buffalo. I mean, yeah, we know Khalil Mack. He's a beast, but... Okay, so we're going to go back to our recruiting board. And just as a, another reminder, uh, we're playing with the house rule that we don't take people off our board after we put them on it. Because otherwise you will get the number one recruiting class every year, no problem. And that's just not how the computer plays. And we want to be fair ish to the computer so oklahoma continues to kill us on this guy because they have an extra um 200 points they're allowed to dump into people we don't have that ability yet um we continue to dominate with uh harris um oh and is starting to catch up to us on Stephen fry so we're gonna or steve fry so we'll go ahead and put most of our points there i mean we can't do much about LSU, uh, again, they can dump more points in. Uh, same thing with Arkansas, I guess. Uh, same thing with this guy. We pretty much are on track to get William Hawkins. And we'll go ahead and fight off Arkansas State here. Uh, we're doing fine there. Actually, we can probably take 50 points away from good old Sean Moore. And just to make sure that we don't have any problems there. Uh, we continue to do okay with our quarterback. This is going to be tough. We're okay on that guy. Okay, so let's take away these points. And put them here. And then we'll take away 25 points. And put them here. Um, oh, U of H is starting to try on this guy. We're making progress. We got to get offensive linemen. This is sort of a cold war over Micah Sharp. We're not going to get that guy. We could maybe take away a couple points. No, wait. Sorry. Larry Green. Anyone else? Well, I mean, you got to have a backup plan at QB. Doing fine on most of these guys. We should still have a reasonable recruiting class, even if, you know, we lose out on the top prospects. Okay, we'll hold it there for now. Um, we might have to surrender on Victor Dawson, though. We have all of the bonus for the visits. So if we time the visit right, we might be able to convince them to come. And let's go ahead and play our next game. We can make this the last game of the night, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Again, not a huge, you know, we, Mac Brown, hands-off guy. So we go with the suggested plays from our coaches. You know, we're really here just to smile and uh take good photos you know and uh catch footballs that that is the mac brown that is the mac brown way show me some stats okay so despite all of the issues we had last week we're Still a top-ish rushing defense. Uh, this game really is very running-oriented in the stats. You can see 150 yards a game is 86th in the NCAA in yards four. 
203 is 41st. Um, Ole Miss has allowed three points this year, and it's raining. That's not much of a pregame show. Go Bevo! Texas! Fight! Texas! Fight! They actually call it Adzillatron? And yeah, we'll see what the stadium looks like in a few years. Oh, wow. The wind is a big factor today, so we're going to kick. So we have the wind to start. This should go straight through the end zone. Probably going to be a field goal. And it's good! Oh, wait. We're going to ask Coach. All right. This is Bo Wallace. If I remember correctly... Um, oh, look at that. Tennessee up 7-0 on the Oregon Ducks. This is yet another hurry-up team. If I remember right, this is the year that Ole Miss beat Alabama. But I'm actually not positive. This is certainly one of the years that Ole Miss played that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, you see there's Treadwell out there. Oh, that's intercepted by Hicks. One of our playmakers on defense. He had two sacks last week. All right, let's go for the kill shot right away. Four verticals. Davis couldn't come up with it. Mm. All right. That's pretty good pursuit. That guy was pretty fast. Is that Mdichi? In however you say his name. All right, power O. Actually, let's reverse this. Then we'll go ahead and motion over Jackson. All right, I'm going to run a little bit more. The run game is really what saved us last week, so we might as well stick with it. Again, we're not doing a lot of hot routes. Although, you'd really want... Oh, no! And it pops up in the air. And this certainly could be returned. I don't think number 82 Swain is going to have enough speed. So that's Case's third. Is that Mike the Mike? I don't know if that's an interception or a fumble. 
it didn't touch the ground, so it doesn't really matter. He saw himself running all the way into the end zone. Wow, Teddy Bridgewater, what happened? Well, that's a little bit of redemption for the Southeastern Conference, which was off to a slow start this year. He's got a lane. A uh, decent return. All right. A&M is ahead of Alabama. No, I don't have... A lot of my guys are tired from chasing after. All right, Gray is back out there. Third down. So we flip the play, and we got three guys out. Davis is the read here. He's wide open. I mean, we would put our best receiver right in the middle of the field, and you don't guard him. Short throw. Take advantage of it. Terrible throw. Maybe the timing's a little off. Tie game now in College Station, just down the road. About a two-hour drive. Nice catch, Shipley. I don't know if it was the best throw, but it counts. Alright, well this is one of those cases where they're just not guarding Mike Davis. Well, kind of. But he's got such good hands. Uh-oh. Oh no. Case. And Gray. Oh wow. Oh, and there was a guy open down the field too. Slow start here, to say the least. Back to back weeks with two picks too. So even though the safety is showing blitz, it's the free safety. That is a horrendous throw. Almost as bad as what Case has been putting out there. So not a uh, virtuoso QB performance from either. Bo takes off. He's hit hard. Oh, and m scored again. This time it is another touchdown. Bo, nothing. This might be into the wind. I don't think he's going to make a 49-yard field goal. It's short. That was a kick that just didn't make it. Good pursuit.
Oh, Oregon. Getting back into it. All right, they got nobody deep. So Davis or Gray or somebody. Oh, I think it's Gray. Oh, yeah, it's Gray. Now with, if uh, it was LaMichael James running that in this game, it's a touchdown. He did have to slow up just a bit to make the catch. That may have made the difference. All right, we're going to try our fake screen wheel play that every time we've run it so far has resulted in us just dumping it off. But this time we're going to go for it. And it's picked. Although at least this time we've got him buried. But three first quarter interceptions. This is a week after David Ash had been the one to get us back into the game. Do we bench Case? I think we wait until halftime. Or until being down by more than a one score. Oh, they're going to swing it out to Treadwell! And... Oh, if he got out of the end zone, he just... Oh, man. You almost want to review that. Oh, we got him that time. Oh, he just got out again somehow. Oh, they're going to go for... All right, LB Dogs, you guys do your thing. Oh, no. But he is short. This has been a grinder of a game in the rain. Oh, he's got plenty of returning room. And he gets outside almost. Let's get the running game going. Oh, I don't, well, it says two ints, that doesn't seem right, maybe one of them was a fumble. Oh, wow, I was throwing it to A there, by the way. With the a worthy successor to Justin Tucker. Yeah, with the wind. I mean, Ole Miss doesn't have a completed pass yet. And I'd say that they still have the stronger offensive performance so far. Oh, that's Dante Moncrief. Always interesting to see the future slash present NFL players. I mean, they got two good wide receivers. Good job, Hicks. I think that'll... Oh. 
I think you run the same play here. Oh, he broke the big tackle. Wow, we sold out. We had him, but apparently Bo Wallace is a tackle-breaking machine. He's basically Tim Tebow. No, that's going to be tough to stop Moncrief with zone coverage. That guy is huge. Probably going to end the quarter, right? Oh, Vandy killed South Carolina. A&M scores again. sheet didn't work. We played nothing but these no huddle hurry up teams. I mean, that is tough to stop. Man, who would have thought? Bo Wallace. Hey, we finally made the first guy bring him down. It's still a yard, though. They're still going with the hurry up here. They got a pass here, though, right? Oh, he's dead. I guess we'll see how good their kicker is. He makes it. Well done, sir. I'm going to return it. Oh, I'm glad that I did. I had one guy fast enough. Just got to copy them a little bit. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Read option here. Tennessee crushing Oregon. So if Tennessee beats Oregon and Kentucky beats Louisville, all right, I'm going to do one hot road here.
or not a hot route, but it's an audible to the Mike Davis. Oh, nice little move. Oh, Alabama getting back into it. That'd be a devastating loss. I really think I have three interceptions. Oh, terrible. Oregon. They're within 10 now. Only well, caught it. He is short, though. Uh oh. That's exactly what you worry about when you run the read option near the goal line. The safety just selling out. So we had to settle for three because of my own dumb play calling. Wisconsin beaten. I think Wisconsin lost that game to Arizona State back in 2013 in relatively controversial fashion. Oh, wow. That's Vince Sanders, someone... That's a name I don't recognize. And Alabama has taken the lead midway through the third quarter against Texas A&M. That's A.J. McCarron. That is a terrible throw. I think the key is to blitz. Good pursuit. Third and 11. We'll run some QB contain with QB spy as well. And the throw is exactly what it needed to be. To J.A. Oh, they're going to review it, but it, it's going to be a catch. Yeah, that's one foot right there. Yep, it should... Look, they got number 54 here in the background. Come on, Jackson. Well done, Jackson. Jeff Coat. Not to be confused with our uh, lineman who has the surname Jackson. Oh, he's going to get a lot of yardage. Decent pursuit from the backside, but... 
All right, we're going to spy one of our DEs here. We'll do Jeff Coat. Oh, he's wide open, but it's overthrown. Yeah, let's blame the Marine. Decent return. That 18 yards helps a lot. I think that they might be calling that a fumble now. I believe we will get the ball first in the second half. I also believe, based on alignment here, that Shipley should score a touchdown. Oh, that was barely not a fumble. Alabama now up by nine. A&M just couldn't hold the lead. Let's run in a little hurry up here. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Ten first downs and six points. Gross. Yeah, I mean, we're giving them what they give us. Four verticals. Oh, wow. Sawyer almost intercepted that. All right, we're running Z under here. Remember, no hot routes. So Mike Davis is the read here. And he's open. And he holds on to it. All right, Case. Are you going to be a worthy successor to your brother here? Because right now you got zero coverage over the top. And really, Jackson Shipley should be the read here. And he drops it! Oof! A lot of suggested four verticals from the coaches. Again, nothing over the top. Oh my god, Case! I don't know, maybe I didn't have to put so much mustard on it, but... Look at that alignment on the right-hand side of the screen right now. That is insane. I mean, it just didn't get anything out of it. So I guess we let the clock run down. Try to kick a field goal. Now, they'll probably try to ice us. Um, but Mac Brown has anti-freeze, whatever that means. Uh, <laughs> you, you really got to think, what does that mean? Like, he, he knows how to, like, not freak out his kickers? And... You know, I know you could interpret this as I just iced my own kicker. Okay, into a 14 mile an hour wind. Maybe it doesn't make it there. It's good! Alright, last week it was tied 10 10 and a half. Here we're down 10 9. But unlike last week, we get the ball first. 
in the second half. We've also won every coin toss. I wonder if anyone has that car now. Yes, there have been a ton of turnovers. Oof. Yes, that was a terrible throw by me. All right, regular kick return. Johnson has been effective. Oh, they're going to kick it over to Bendham, though. And he's got something. Oh. In Tennessee, more points. I didn't mean to motion him, but it's fine. Oh, that's a good tackle. Oh, no. And Case, you just blew it. Four turnovers. And we're going to bench him. I mean, you just can't accept that many turnovers, even though they're all my fault. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Pursuit, and it's a pick. And Turner. Oh, he's just brought down by Moncrief. No. I thought that was Moncrief, but it was someone else. So both quarterbacks playing terrible. We're bringing in David Ash. We know it's a grinder game. And his first carry is an effective one. Big win for Vandy. Nice keeper for Ash. He's got 20 yards already. Big run for Gray. That's what happens when they have to respect Ash. Uh, Oregon within six. Look out, folks. 
We do not have five whiteouts. Oh my goodness, no blocking. Alright, let's try a screen. Nice moves by Gray. Kind of a lot of weird collisions and ragdolls, but... Tennessee, that's a big score. Yeah, I mean, if he's open, you just kind of throw it and let him reflex it. All right, the red zone, it's been a weakness all year for us. A&M within two. Oregon in big trouble. Oh, man. They just bring everybody downhill. This is the exact problem Oregon had against uh, Auburn in that national championship game when Nick Fairley just... Oh, he broke a couple tackles! And... He's on the doorstep. I think we gotta settle for three here, though. Or at least the attempt at three. And it's through. Only 15 passing attempts for Mariota? So I won't have the wind in the fourth quarter. But I did make like a 48-yard field goal into the wind, so... I mean, we're playing the old Seattle cover three, seven men in the box, safety down. They'll go no huddle. New Mexico State got 28 points against UTEP. That's impressive. They got nothing against us. Uh, Arizona State coming back against Wisconsin. Oh, he keeps it. And it's a first down. So Ole Miss is the one that Mike Leach went to. That's a decent throw to Vince Sanders. Oh, they, oh, Moncrief, he got something there. This is a grinder game. Wallace. Oh, he's wide open. And he hits him. Is that Evan Ingram? It is. Future NFL player Evan Ingram. Oh, Bo might score. Down to the one.
UTEP scored more against New Mexico State than I did. Gave up a lot more too, though. Oh, they get the pitch out, and it's touchdown. Jalen Walton. They're going to go for two to be up by six. Eh. I wish we could run it back. Oh! It's intercepted. If he catches that on the fly, it's two points the other way. We're paying for our field goals. He's got a little bit of space, and he's almost out to midfield. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough game, Kirk. I feel like I already got that achievement. Maybe I didn't. Oh, no! That was horrific. Oh, he got frickin' destroyed, but he held on to it. LSU. Not that impressive against Kent State. Alabama. They're gonna ultimately win by a comfortable margin over A&M. Third and five. Tennessee beats Oregon. I kind of wish the announcers would like talk about that. All right, we ran a rare hot route and get a touchdown out of it. Okay, now we should go for one. Oh, wow, Nevada beats Florida State, and Purdue beats Notre Dame. I think if we win this game, we'll be in the top 25. I don't know how we're going to beat Oklahoma, though. I think they're probably going to crush us. Oh, that's a terrible throw. It was a bad decision, but then the throw being kind of bad meant that it didn't end up being as bad as it could have been. Oh, they run the screen, but we blow it up. Remember, seven of their points came on a, well, it was either a pick six or a fumble six. It seems like it was a fumble six. Sorry, a scoop and score. Hashtag.
That's the old Martin Tyler phrase. He might have a chance here. Auburn beats Mississippi State. It's another top 25 team going down. But we'll go ahead and let the quarter run out here. And Texas Tech, that's another top 25 upset. Yeah, I mean, we're going to... I mean, we win this game. We could move up quite a bit. I don't know why Bowling Green isn't highlighted. Gray has not gotten much going today. Oh, now they don't have it. I guess they highlight it the first time they show the result. Speed option. I don't know if it's going to be a foolish play. Oh, he's short. I think we can make the kick, though. Just got to get all of it. Special teams are huge. So who will be number one? And how much does Tennessee move up? Oh, they're going to get a return out of this. Decent pursuit against Walton. Bonex has not been much. Oh, thank you, Bo. Oh, he's just going to keep it. An excellent pursuit from Quandre Diggs, future NFL player. Third and long. Bo throws it short to Evan Ingram. And it's just not going anywhere. Good for Michigan. You get a different camera angle when you muff it. I didn't see the muff. No, they're just grinded out kind of play. Oh, he tried to blow it up. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Nice throw by Ash under pressure. And then the guy who was covering him, not quite enough speed. Mm. 
That is Marcus Johnson. Nice by Ash, and he's going to score. All right, we need to go for two. Oh, he got krill killed. I tried to press Y, I promise. Pretty good pursuit. Wow, and Arizona State has taken a late lead over Wisconsin. Inside to Scott. Reasonable pursuit. Oh, nice. Is that Whaley? No, it's Desmond Jackson. So we're going to blitz Hicks here. Excellent contain. That's exactly what it's there for. I think they're going to have to go for it. No, they're going to punt. Alright, well, we're just going to go into turtle up mode. I wish I would have the team's uh, records at the bottom and not just the ranking. Oh, he's got some space! Oh, he almost ran it back. All right, so we're going to go into conservative. We're basically not going to run. There's no reason to run anymore. Passing plays. No reason to match shot it here. It's going to be a lot of keepers from Ash. I think Ash has got to be the starter next weekend. Arizona State has 24 unanswered against Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, you see that sometimes. Oh, he almost regained his balance well enough. So six field goals. This is a great kick. It's 
it's all going to be two man under with contain. This is the no big plays coverage, basically. And Bo Wallace uh, is having a, a rough one. He's got under 100 yards passing. Certainly no Robo QB problem in this uh, game. I mean, we're just playing off in coverage. We've got our two linebackers assigned to their. That's complete to Moncrief. It's a decent throw. All right, we'll play him tight, but with the, still the deep safeties over the top. And just too much pressure. They're going to go for it. Looks like a run. And Bo keeps it. And that's what they've been able to do today. Though Ash has more rushing yards after coming in late. Oh, they got Logan out there now. That might be a mismatch, Santos on Logan. But they run him short. And that's just... They're going to be forced to use their timeout. Yeah, we'll mix it up with zone just this one time. Although we're lining up as if it's man. It's a short one. He caught it. All right, this is the one time we blitz. Are we going to pay for it? No, we will not pay for it. In fact, Bo gets killed again. Desmond Jackson, three sacks. Uh, I think you should use your timeout there, personally. Alrighty. Bo killed by Reed before he can get the screen out. Alright, we'll go with cover three. They're one for one on fourth down, although the first one was a short one. And there's no Moncrief on the field. Oh, he's wide open, Evan Ingram. Florida State lost. Oh, I remember that now. I already saw that result. He's going to be stopped. Oh, it's a touchdown. Oh, no, he dropped it. Oh, wow. So with 13 seconds left. So they'll go for two. I mean, they could wait to go for two, but... Hmm. 
Mm. Oops, pressed one too many buttons. Alright, sometimes I have bad luck with the onside kick in these games. But not this time. Sanders has got it. Sanders has got some space. And he's able to run off some clock. I think he got more than zero yards there, personally. And the computer, in fact, does call timeout. All right, let's see where we're ranked. <laughs> My kicker. I mean, there was all kinds of crazy stuff in that game. I don't know if it's an ESPN Classic. I certainly don't know if it's the number one ESPN Classic. Because it was basically a two-story game. But we had a lot of teams in the top 25 lose. So my guess is that we'll be like 21st. So we'll check the rankings and then we'll end this video. Ah, we got a promotion. We'll do that later, too. Lots of guys ready to visit. We'll do that later, too. And we are number 21, as I predicted. We play number 20 for the second consecutive week, actually. Georgia is the new number one. There's still only a coach's poll. Then Ohio State, then Stanford, Alabama is one and one and is number four. Clemson is one and one and is number six. Oregon fell. Florida. I play a top ten team. LSU's loss is a pretty bad loss, if I remember right, as to what? TCU? Oh, that's not so bad. Tennessee leaps all the way into the top 25 for winning against number one. Louisville falls really far. Kentucky is still unranked. South Carolina, we're ahead of them now. They're one and two and still ranked. Vandy, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And UCLA, despite winning, uh, gets leapt by a f couple teams. We have four teams. Four teams drop out. Although, uh, I don't know, Notre Dame's not even receiving votes anymore. Hmm. Crazy. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.